why Singapore? Would I move? Would I leave? What is the decision making to set up the company and the family here? Happy Sunday, everyone. It is day 54. And I thought this topic would be an interesting one, a bit of a not so much business because it actually focuses on a lot of different things. And it's a topic that I actually get asked a lot. And the topic goes in all kinds of reasons. Why did you choose Singapore in the first place? This was about eight years ago. And the other question is, would you still stay in Singapore if you didn't have a business anymore? Um, eight years ago, we chose Singapore really for crypto. And I think at that point in time, Singapore was very, very crypto friendly, maybe even too crypto friendly. I think today, probably for crypto itself, I'm not sure Singapore is actually the best place. I think there are better places to set up something if you really focused on crypto. But you need to see this in a bit of a grander scheme. So for me, right, and obviously that is a 30-year-old married with three kids, really focused on um, traditional values. I don't want to have those extreme new woke values. I am someone who wants to have a safe place. I want something with good education. I want something with a good health system. I want something that's business friendly, that's investor friendly. If you kind of look at all these things, you start excluding a lot of places. Now, I would think there would be some places in the US that you could go to, but my wife is absolutely against this. Maybe in Europe, you would have Switzerland. That is still a bit of a, of a remainder. In uh, Asia, maybe you would have Hong Kong. I think some uh, some parts of the Middle East would work. And uh, that's about it. And so if I kind of look at that, I really don't like the climate in the Middle East. I can't deal with that. And I think a lot of people that are living in Dubai or something, they actually are not there for six months in a year. But that doesn't really work for me with the kids, right? They need to go to school and so on. Um, US is a no-go for my wife. Europe, I just, I don't know, I think it's a bit of a downtrend at the moment. So that was just a bit of a no-go. So it was a bit between Hong Kong and Singapore. And I mean, we were in Hong Kong before, came to Singapore for crypto. And now we're just in Singapore because I think it's a really great place for all these things. And uh, even if we didn't have the business, I would stay here and I would set something up and I would do something else from here, right? So even if, I mean, I would always be doing something, but if I didn't have cake. So for me, that's really a bit of the decision tree here. I don't think Singapore is perfect for everyone. I think there are definitely people who, I don't know, have maybe more fun some other places in Asia. Maybe for them, Europe is better. It really depends a bit on what you want. And for us, we're really happy right now here and we're very well integrated. So for us, long-term plans here. So that's a bit of the background to all of that. I hope that kind of shares that story a little bit. Happy Sunday. I hope you're doing well. Tomorrow, a new week is starting. I hope you're as excited as I am, we have product, we have marketing, we have so many topics to discuss. So stay tuned, subscribe, and see you tomorrow. All the best, Julian. Bye-bye.